turn on my camera here a minute. I like it. Sounds really good. And then if you if you happen to have a all right, all right, Ryan. So we just went through the bike, put a new front tire, new rear tire, as well as uh, new inner tubes. I like to do new, new inner tubes on everything. Just uh, it's you know it, it's your tires. It's what connects you to the road, and you have a bad inner tube, and that can uh, that can wreck your day. Got rid of the old points and condenser. Went with an electronic ignition. Rebuilt the front brake master cylinder. Let that out with uh, some fresh brake fluid. We replaced the uh, the lock cylinder in that better hard bag cover. Yep. Up here. Put a new uh, a new lock in there because he didn't have the key. Right. Changed awesome. the oil. Went through the carburetors. Put new gaskets. O-rings. Um, there was some leaking O-rings and gaskets in there. Rebuilt the accelerator pump in the uh, carburetor. Rebuilt the petcock because that was that didn't turn off. And uh, let's clean it up a little bit. All right, awesome. Now, uh, one time I did have a bike, and it might not have, it might have been a Honda, but the plug started to fall up. Is there anything that would cause that, or anything to do that would Ty stop that? Typically, that's a, a a rich running condition or an oil consumption issue. Um, I'm guessing it was probably a, a rich running condition. I see. Um, okay. So, or you know, if you if the points and condenser or the points were a little bit out of spec, uh, that could certainly do it as well. So you shouldn't have that problem with this. We put that electronic ignition on. You'll never have to worry about any points or condensers again. All right, great. Thank you very much, Ryan. Not Everything looks good. Second, uh, go ahead and explain the petcock. So the petcock is it's an automatic petcock. So when you start the engine, the petcock opens and allows fuel flow. Oh, yeah. Um, but if you were to start this bike up after like a long winter, you would turn it to this prime position. PRI is prime. Oh, right. Okay. And that just allows it to free flow fuel, but you don't want to keep it on that position. Ah, um, okay. Because then it's just always on and the, 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 the fuel valves in these carburetors aren't the best. Um, I did replace them, but even, even when they're new, they're they're not the greatest so right now it's in the reserve position because the fuel isn't you know it doesn't have a ton of fuel in it okay but after you fill up you'll switch it rotate it to the on position okay and then uh ride it and you know you'll have to kind of figure out what mileage the thing goes into reserve and then you'll just flip it to the reserve position and then uh find a gas station okay so and that's just, uh, there's, it just sits in a rubber grommet. There's not a bolt or anything that holds the back of the tank on. Oh, okay. So that's why it's a little Gives loose a like that. Gives a buffer from vibration. Yep. That yeah. way it's not metal against metal. Yep. Okay.